let suffering speak. When I was younger, um, probably about eight years old, I was walking through Sutton Coalfield Town Centre with my cousin. And as we were walking to the cinema, um, a few boys started throwing chips at us um, and said a few things. At the time, I didn't really hear it. I didn't understand what was going on. But I think later on in life, I realised that they were abusing us and throwing things at us. And, and, they, and they were saying racist things to us as well. That was my first incident of racism. But as I got older, got into secondary school, I, real, I really uh, realised what how serious racism can be, and especially in a systemic way. I went to grammar school. Um, in grammar school, in my, in my class, I was the only black boy in my class, and only one of six in the whole year. That in itself, you can look at that and think that was something bad, but it was what it was how I was treated throughout school that me that really made me see how serious racism is. Teachers wouldn't give me the time of day. Um, they would treat me very differently as well. And if I ever, in any subjects that I wasn't that great at, they would just leave me by the wayside and just leave me to kind of mess up while other white kids who were probably just as bad and maybe even worse at those subjects, they would receive more help. That affected me massively um, in school. By year nine, I kind of gave up on trying. Um, after coming from primary school, being top of the class in everything that I was doing and pushing myself just to maintain that place. Um, as I got to year nine, I just gave up. I decided that I was gonna just continue to be the, the class clown, um, be the popular black boy in the class and stuff like that. And education was just a, you know, just second part of my school life. I feel that that affected my, the rest of my life because it meant that a lot of things that I maybe should have achieved by now, I haven't. And I kind of started behind. I had to fight myself to, to really realise my own potential, to really see how good I was at what I was doing. But because of the racism and, and the way I was treated in school by, by teachers, I. I doubted myself a lot. So now, um, in what I do, I do a lot of things in media, I do a lot of things in, crea in creative arts, and a massive thing for me is to, is to educate younger people, show them their worth, let them know who they are and how great they are at what they do, and where it can take them. So whether that is still within the creative field or, or somewhere else in life, it's, it's, just a, the, it's just a way to encourage them, to empower them, to do better things and to realise that the way people treat you, the way people see you and the way people prejudge you isn't who you are. You need to find yourself in you. Racism is a very bad thing, of course. It, it scares me to think that there are people out there who will judge you just based on the colour of your skin, not your character. It's something that we need to educate our young people on. We need to educate and have the conversations with other people, um, non-black people as well. Those conversations are gonna be very difficult. Those conversations are gonna be uncomfortable, but without those conversations, we won't make a difference at all.